Welcome back to Levity Books. My name is Liam, and I hope you've been reading well. Today, we're talking about the second book from my library hall, Glass and God by Anne Carson. Phenomenal work of poetry, one of my favourite poetry collections, giving it a full five stars. And I'm going to try quickly explain why. If you've never read poetry, and you want to see classy writing, you want to see writing with style and real formality, yet true articulation, just perfectly crafted, concise stories written in a really alternative way, Anne Carson is, is where you should be. You should be reading Anne Carson. No, but seriously, Anne Carson's poetry collections are consistently highly rated. And she is a professor in Canada. She used to teach at McGill. So I actually got Autobiography of Red signed, which was great. And she's as fantastic as she you would imagine in person as she is on the page. When she gave her poetry readings, they were so erudite, so eloquent. It was so great to really see that in, in live spoken poetry. There's like a serious realm for it. And I think Anne Carson is part of that realm. The opening essay, the glass essay, seems to be as personal as Anne Carson's poetry has ever been. The glass essay is a prose poem about a woman recovering from a romantic breakup and reflects on the life of Emily Bronte. It's almost like a biography of Emily Bronte, which is used as a parallel to explain the narrator's feelings. And it's, I'm not even someone who's read the Bronte Sisters of Austin yet, and I really should have. There's a real gap in my reading. But even not having read that, you can know that you don't need to like the Bronte sisters massively to enjoy this essay. The remaining two-thirds of the book, which aren't the glass essay, include um, some short talks, experimental exercise. They're a little harder to follow because they're more abstract and they're like multi-part pieces. But even still, they're as strong as her later work, like the two that I've already read. So. It's clear that right from the start, Anne Carson had this style in mind, and in this original piece, this one of her first ever pieces, I really enjoyed it more than some of her later works, because I think it's almost more raw and unrefined than her later writing, so I, that's normally the poems that, that I kind of like, so I, I liked the... I really like that. I was surprised. Anne Carson has said one of her goals as a writer is to try and write somewhere just between the border of understanding and complete ambiguity. To try and write words which just about make sense. And I think she really does do that. She does it really well. And it's done in a way that doesn't seem to be um, too complex or doesn't seem to be kind of obfuscating meaning or truth like it it seems like it's trying to tell you something and that's what makes it really compelling so in short if you're a serious reader who doesn't really get on with poetry finds it too melodramatic informal or just meaningless abstract you really should try find Anne Carson's poetry if you find anything by Anne Carson let me know how you find it because I find her work consistently amazing and I think it's just not as widely read as it should be it's still underappreciated after all these years, and I think more people should be reading this. I think it's, it's it just really is the kind of book that I want to promote with this channel. So try find Anne Carson. I'm sure you won't be underwhelmed. Happy reading.